Mom? Mom? Yes, hello? Yes, yes it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, Annie, dear. How did you sleep? I didn't. Oh, well, what dreams did you? Well, I dreamt that I was sound asleep and uh, I woke up to find the front door wide open. Well, that's terrifying. Did somebody break in? Were there monsters? Oh, and then I, I ran to your room, only to find an empty bed that hadn't even been slept in. What happened next? The police called and brought you home. Oh, well, you, you really shouldn't have so much sugar before you go to bed, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, um, it, it was probably those strawberries that I gave you after dinner. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mom, it's probably the strawberries. Oh. I, I want espresso, honey. You gave up coffee six months ago? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did not. You did. Well, then I'm starting again because I have a, a full day of patience and I need to be fully present for them. Well, how did you sleep, Mother? Like a baby. <laughs> I was out before my head hit the pillow and I was up with the light of day. Mother. <laughs> what time do you have to be at school, dear? Um, oh, do you have uh, cheerleading practice after school today? Uh, Mildreda! Annie needs to be driven to school! Mom. Mildreda? Mom. Mildreda? Mom. Mildreda! Stop, Stop it. But I won't have my daughter be late for school or anything. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Did you take my keys again? You bitch. I didn't raise you that way, to take my keys. First you hide them, now you, you take them from me. I can drive just fine. We sold the car. You sold my car? You had no right to do that? You can't take away my freedom. You sold it. Where's you... my car? Where's my car? Oh, it was your idea. Where's my car? Mom, mom! Where's my car? Where's my car? Where's my car?
You look like shit. <laughs> I feel it, too. You know, there's nothing in any textbook or medical journal that says you do this and everything's going to turn out great. Thanks for coming. Of course. You know, I played in this yard since I was in kindergarten. You know, coming over here is always an escape for me, like a vacation. And your mom always made it seem so much more exciting than just up the block. She never liked any of my friends but you. <laughs> you were special. She used to say, Liz is my daughter from a past life. <laughs> oh. She didn't just like you, she loved you. How much longer do you think you can hold out? As long as she can. You have other options. You could try home care again. She fought with them all the time. I, I couldn't keep any of them. Eight different caregivers and she couldn't get along with one of them? No. And then one of them was caught on camera hitting her. Uh, another not feeding her. A third not cleaning her. There's the facility. I couldn't live with myself if I put her in a care facility. I, it's just not the way we do things. The facility has not lost a patient or had anybody leave in the middle of the night. I, I mean, leaving others to care for our own the way only we know how. I'm advising you as if she was my own. She's not. Just, just call me if you need anything, okay? Liz. Yeah? I just wish things were the way they were before. Me too, Annie. Me too. Need anything? Mm. What's your name, dear? Annie. Oh, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> that was my daughter's name. Yeah. What was she like? She was a very beautiful little girl. Smart. She was so sure of herself. Even at five years old. <laughs> mm. Tell me about her. Well, she was born on the 4th of July. As, um... The fireworks made these amazing patterns outside my hospital room across a warm summer night. She was just the sweetest person from day one from the moment that she was born.